How's it going, everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'm back again with a new episode of Living Tiny with Mr. Tiny. This is season two, episode five, and I'm showcasing the jolly tumbleweed. So you know what it is. This is where I showcase where you can live big while still going tiny in 399 square feet. So sit back, grab a seat, because you're in for a treat. And let's get to another episode of Living Tiny with Mr. Tiny. I am back again with a all new episode of Living Tiny with Mr. Tiny. This is season two, episode five, and I'm showcasing the jolly tumbleweed. And if you're familiar with the series, you know this is where you get to see clients' homes once they are on their property of choice. Well, if you know me, you know I always go to the drawing boards. I have to be innovative. So with that said, I'm showcasing a new park model tiny home that's not used for a primary residence, it's not used for an office space like we've done so in the past, and it's not for a mother-in-law cottage. This is an investment property. What this is, is a home away from home that can be utilized for passive income. So for those of you that are interested in ROI, I'm not talking about Republic of Ireland. I'm talking about return on investment. So with that said, the Jolly Tumbleweed is going to check the boxes for you. This home is located right outside of Fredericksburg, Texas in Firefly Resort communities and it is lot number 154 where you can actually book this tiny home for a nightly stay or a weekly stay whatever you choose but this is a great option so you can see how clients who are fortunate enough to purchase a home from us and utilize it as an investment property can do so right here so after they purchase the home you can see that this tumbleweed has been decked out to the nines. If you're familiar with the tumbleweed floor plan, the dimensions of this model specifically is 15 feet wide, 46 feet long, and this one's including the 10 foot front porch and a 10 foot rear porch. And they have pulled all the stops right here in the jollies. I love what you've done with the place. You can see right here on the exterior, look at this curb appeal. This has the night owl exterior base. It has the black fox skirting, as well as your fascia going around the home, your porch post color, and the tops of your rails are finished out in that also. We have a bronze metal roof on top, so if you're subscribed, like you should be, then you know that is quality of construction because the exterior has 30 years of warranty, as well as the metal roof and the composite decking on this model, so this is a great option for you if you are currently looking to downsize let the jolly show you firsthand how it's done you can see that not only did they finish it out with the custom skirting that they have on this home but also they did the permanent stairs where you have this bump out area right here which makes a great space and offers all of this permanent steps going up onto your front porch this is a great look also get a shot of the front of the park model where you can see the exterior porch beam and it is open so that is great because we have no crow's foot here it's just the open porch beam and then you have 150 square feet of outdoor living space for you to utilize you can see right here we have the craftsman style basis right here on the front porch we also have the triple post right here on top of the craftsman basis and go ahead and walk on to these custom steps as you come up onto the front porch so you can see this 10 foot of outdoor living space to utilize at your convenience. As you come up, this is what I'm talking about. Go ahead and get a great shot of the interior porch ceiling. You can see that is gray stained southern yellow pine right here. We have the exterior can lights. We have a ceiling fan right there for you. And then not only did they utilize the clear stories as you saw on the side of the home, they also utilize them on their front porch. 
So you've got two clear stories out here on the front porch as well. You can see that we have rebar rally going around. And again, you're sitting back, you get to enjoy this outdoor living space. They've got the seats set up right here for you to kick back and relax. And if you're familiar with the area right here in Lukenbach and Fredericksburg, then this is wine country. Yes, this is not, you don't have to go to Southern California to get wine country. A big capital of it in Texas is right here in Fredericksburg and Lukenbach. So you can sit here and enjoy your wine and then have a great time right here on this front porch. I love that they've chosen to use the black windows on this home. They also have the exterior farmhouse light. We also look at that great, beautiful prismatic window above the front door. That is lovely. And they got their sign right here letting you know, hey, they're open for business. There's no Luke and Bach. Hey, you see it right there? So that is a great, great feature for them. And this is a great option for you. If you are looking for a nightly rental, you're looking to make a trip down to Texas, you're looking to stay in Fredericksburg, then you need to book the Jolly Tumbleweed. Now follow me inside so I can showcase to you what they've done with the place. As you come in here, this is what I'm talking about. Oh my God, I may have to stay tonight, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because this right here is a great option. You can see right here in the living room, what makes the tumbleweed floor plan so unique and spectacular is 15 feet of width and living space for you to utilize. And you can see they've made a, a very, very great choice here with their choice of decor. And look right here in the living room. All the interior wall in this home is whitewashed southern yellow pine. If you get a look, look of the roof, you can see it's gray stained southern yellow pine. So that offers a great contrast where it, it gets to be light and airy, but you also get that comfort of having that darker tone on the roof and it looks luxurious in person, I can tell you. And right here, look how they've chosen to decorate the place. You can see this beautiful leather couch right here on the living room wall. You have the two picture windows right there where you can get the beautiful view of the properties here. And then also the clear story window up top that you get. And again, this is what you're coming here for. You're coming here to enjoy tiny home living and lifestyle as well as enjoying the amenities that they provided to you right here at their home. So you can see right here, you get a nice seat right there on that leather couch. And then right across, you have the flat screen TV. You have the beautiful entertainment center right here where we have the LED fireplace down below. They have the gray pedal tile with the dark grout in there. So that add some contrast and color, and then they have the gray stained southern yellow pine top right here to your entertainment center. So this is a great option. Now I'm here showcasing this home in the summer, so not putting off any heat, but if you choose to book this stay during the winter time, then yes, that puts off heat as well. So it is a great option and luxury for you to have in the Jolly Tumbleweed. Now you can see right here, this beautiful wood table that has been placed here. This is a uh, coffee table that the Jollies have actually handcrafted themselves. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the great part of the Live in Tiny series is you get to see firsthand what clients do and the personal characteristics that they add to their tiny home. This is a handmade coffee table that they've made themselves. You also have your guest book right here uh, that you can sit there whenever you have your nightly stay. You can get that book out, write about your experience for the next guest to sit back and read as they have their stay. And I love the natural light coming into this home. Get a good look of that prismatic window right there up above the front door where you can gaze out and see that gray stained southern yellow pine on the interior porch ceiling. And then you have the 36 inch blinds and glass front door. You have a small window there and look what we have here, separating the living area from the kitchen, another handmade island right here. So you can see we have the coffee table in the living room. We got the island here. This is why the Living Tiny series is so great because the Jollies could have easily chosen to add the island on wheels that we normally provide for our clients. They chose to omit that in their home and said, you know what, Mr. Tiny, we got this. We're going to construct our own island for our kitchen. What I love about it is look at the length that you have here. And it is very slim. It offers a personal uh, feature here. 
and I love the look of it. It just matches the tones of this home so lovely. You have your stools underneath that just tuck out of, out of sight, out of mind until you need them. And hey, whether you're sitting enjoying some breakfast uh, or hey, this is wine country, you're enjoying a drink, you sit here, post up, put your drink down and watch the TV right there or look out and enjoy the view. The option is yours. So I love that fe feature right here. Also, look at the interior kitchen. Look at this kitchen here. We have the black dishwasher down below. That is a great feature here. Also, get a uh, look, look what they did here, guys. If you're coming to stay in the Jolly's Tumbleweed and you wanted to see how to get onto the Wi-Fi, you know, that's what the kids always ask as soon as they get to the house. They don't want to look at the place. They're, What's the Wi-Fi code? Look what they did for me right here. The Wi-Fi password is what? Mr. Tiny. Yes. So if you guys want to get connected, you put in that code right there. I thank the Jollies for doing that. That is a great feature. Also, look at these rich and luxurious gray stained cabinets that they've chosen to add the black bar pools to. I love the concept of that paired with the Lario countertop. You can see those tones just go together. So lovely. The backsplash is going to be that whitewash, southern yellow pine. You have the stainless one basin farm sink here with, of course, the detachable sprayer. Got your window up above. You have your clear stories there, bringing in that natural light. And again, guys, as I tell you all the time, we finish out the top of our cabinets so clients can do what? Add decor of their choice. You see how this, these decor pieces just bring the life to this home. It looks so great, so unique. And then you have the rest of your black appliances here. We have the smooth top electric oven. We have the microwave right there. Uh, we got your coffee maker, of course, to match. You know, they got to color coordinate like Mr. Tiny. You know, we keep it all together. So we got that going. Also, the uh, standard style refrigerator in black. We have the additional cabinet space up top. And then we'll make our way back here. What I love is that we have the pantry space here. Yes, since this is a rental, they've chosen not to have the washer and dryer area here in this tumbleweed. What they've chosen to do is omit that and add the pantry space. I love it because not only do you have the space here to accommodate things like your trash can, I have plenty of clients that ask about that, so that's out of sight, out of mind, but also you have those shelves. And what do those shelves mean? What'd you say? Real wood, ladies and gentlemen. You got the real wood shelves in there and gray stain, and they are looking great paired with this gray stain bifold door. And we'll make our way back into the bathroom. And you can see here, we've got the gray stain cabinets, the drawer bank down below, the linen cabinets up above. You also have the Lario countertop in that banjo style countertop, might I add, that wraps around here and gives you some ample space there for some of your decor up above your toilet. What I love is the Jollies chose to omit the standard uh, mirror in the bathroom and they chose to add their own and I love this because you know what you press a button there Oh my goodness Ooh, Okay, mr. Tiny Okay, I'm doing a little something today. ain't I? okay. I like that So that is the great and personal characteristics that you can add to your tiny home Just as the jollies have so you can see right here also look at this gray pedal tile in this shower they have the built-in niche right there where you can put your soap shampoos etc there's the bump up uh right there in the shower so those of you that are a little bit taller than i am at, at six foot one if you're taller than me then you've got some extra space there as well so i love that that shower tile looks amazing and they've also added the black fixtures going throughout their entire home so that pairs together so lovely and what i love is that you have the pocket door separating the bathroom to the bedroom and you can see right here Look at this. Oh, yeah. You got the bedroom up in here. You got the farmhouse lights on each side of the bed. And you can see right here, this, again, is the tumbleweed floor plan. A great characteristic of, of the tumbleweed is that it can fit up to a king-size bed in the bedroom. So with that said, you could easily put this in here. But as you see, a queen works lovely as well. So I love the ample space that they were able to accommodate in the bedroom of this model also you have the clear story windows right there they've added these lovely curtains there to kind of match and bring the aesthetic all together i love that also you can see some of the decor pieces they have in here this is great this is what makes it personable 
Live Love Texas. Amen. So you see right here also, you've got the remote that controls the mini split system for your AC and heat. Hey, and if it's your first time using one, they've even conveniently did the diagram there to show the case the instructions for you to utilize it if you were staying overnight. So that is a great option as well. What I also love is normally in the tumbleweed, you're going to have a closet here, closet there, and a built-in dresser in the middle. No, no, no. The Jolly said, not our tumbleweed. They chose to add a rear porch to the home, so they needed access to get there. So you had to have space for the door to be added. So that took away one space where the closet would go. So they moved that over, added the closet here. And instead of having a dresser or a closet over here, what did they do? They chose to leave this open and add open shelving. You can see this looks great. They have the black piping there. We have the gray stain, open shelves there, and then it offers decor. You've got a, a small space there. So if you want to have like a little reading nook, or something, or just sit there and enjoy, meditate, whatever you want to do. You got the area over here in the corner to do so. I love that. But not only do you have that, you also have the gray stained barn door here that slides over out of the way, and you got your closet. So you have plenty of hanging space, everything that you need. If you're renting this and, and staying a few nights or even a week, you have the space there to accommodate. I love this concept in the bedroom. Now, what can only make it better? Let's go outside and see behind this 36 inch blinds and glass rear door. We got another 10 foot porch here. So you can see here on this porch, look at this. This is lovely. You've got the gray stained Southern yellow pine on the porch ceiling. We have another ceiling fan here. They have the clear stories on each side of the rear porch. Look at this table right here as well. Would you not want to enjoy you know, some uh, a dinner here, a lunch, breakfast, drink your coffee, drink some wine, and just sit here and enjoy the view. And this is a great option. I love this. They have the black rebar rails here. They have the open gable again. And then it just leads right out onto the back of the home. This is a great option. You can see the composite decking there. Great features that you have here for you to gather with friends and family and enjoy this tiny home also another farmhouse exterior coach light there bringing in some aesthetic and what i love is the flow of this home because you since you have the front porch you also have the rear porch it's just aesthetically aligned and great 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 choice of features on this tumbleweed i, I mean i can go on and on all day and if you think that's enough it's not enough follow me back through because guess what look what you got there underneath the mattress here you have a built-in storage this is a bed box they chose to add the bed box feature with the additional storage down below i love that this works great for this room and also you follow me back through because guess what you got the bedroom downstairs what's upstairs the loft space yes additional sleeping additional hangout space up in the loft but before we get there Let's look at this gray stain stairwall here with the rail. You have the rebar underneath with the loft rail going up, looking so lovely. Also, you have the gray stain stairs with the drawers in the stairs going up also. And do not let me forget, while we're looking around downstairs, look at this Scandinavian oak plank flooring going throughout the home. You see how that pairs so lovely with the rest of the features? These are great aesthetic choices. And I'm telling you guys, this is a great option on the downstairs. Let's take it upstairs so I can showcase how much space you have to utilize in the Jolly's loft. Now we're in the loft of the Jolly Tumbleweed. And as you can see right here, this is that added extra. This is the cherry on top, literally, because you have the loft on top of all those goodies downstairs in the tumbleweed. Then right up here, you can see you have the gray stain loft top of the rails here. And then also the rebar rails, which are complementing the railing on the front and rear porch of this home. So you see how you bring the, the outdoor feng shui indoors, great features there. And this is an amazing property. And you can see right here, even look at that Scandinavian oak flooring here in the loft as well. It complements the side walls and that whitewashed southern yellow pine and then this gray stain 
Southern Yellow Pine ceiling right here in the loft space. But look how they chosen to organize this loft area. You see, you got the bed right here in the middle. And I love that cutback right there, adding some dimension and depth right here to the loft space. This is just, I mean, you just want to stay up here. This is like a little hideout, a hidden gem, if I say so myself. You also have the farmhouse lights on either side of the loft. And what I love are the extras. You got that bean bag over there, the love sack bean bag over there, so you can hang out and look out and gaze out onto the property through the clear story windows. You can chill in the bed if you, you just want to sleep in. Or you have this beautiful cowhide saddle style chair right here in the loft that I'm sitting in that you can look down and enjoy the area. This is a great feature right here in the loft of this particular model. And I love the clear story windows on each side. This is just checking all the boxes for me, if I do say so myself. Also, what I want you to do is, you can see all this area here in the loft, but get a good look of the rest of the home from the loft view. You can see all of that space down there, that 399 square feet of luxurious lifestyle is phenomenal. Also, I love the fact that you can literally sit here in the loft and you can look out at that prismatic window above the front door and gaze out onto the terrain outdoors. That is a great option. I love, love, love. I can't say, I probably said that. We need a counter going for how many times I said the word love in this jolly tumbleweed because they have knocked it out of the park with this model. And this is what I want to show you guys. That's why I've traveled here uh, to Fredericksburg and Lukenbach area here in Texas to showcase these homes to you because this is a great option for a lot of clients who are looking at different ways to utilize the tiny home lifestyle because every day that passes, it only gets larger. And the Jollies have taken advantage of the tiny home lifestyle by not only utilizing it for their personal use, but also offering it to others by placing it as a rental property that you can book and stay in. So this is a great option. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button right now. Hit that thumbs up and let me know that you've enjoyed this Living Tiny with Mr. Tiny episode. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite feature of the Jolly Tumbleweed was. There are so many items. I mean, you can, you can leave 50 comments per person if you wanted as, as much character that this home has. And it all goes together so lovely. And what I love about it is the fact that it is a reflection of the clients themselves. The Jollies are so nice so welcoming, uh, just great personalities. And you can see it shows and exudes right here into their, into their rental property here with this tumbleweed. So leave in the comments what your favorite feature was. Was it the front porch, the rear porch? Was it the custom uh, island and coffee table that was added in here? Was it the whitewashed pine, the gray stained pine? Was it the tiled interior fireplace? Was it the tiled shower? Was it the Scandinavian oak plank flooring? As you can see, that may be my favorite, just, just saying. But let me know what your favorite feature was. So that way we can continue to bring homes like this to you for you to enjoy. Also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that subscribe button and that way you can be part of the family. Also, if you want to contact me directly and ask me some questions on how you can proceed in purchasing a home, like the Jollies, hey, you ain't gonna get it exactly like it because they got some personal features in here that, hey, they, they took care of this themselves. But if you want something like it, you want to create your own, then you can hit me up on Instagram at the Mr. Tiny, at T H E M R T I N Y. And you can connect with I anytime. I'm selling custom tumbleweeds as well as hundreds of other park model tiny homes directly off of my Instagram. So you can contact me day or night. And I'll make sure that price is right. And again, I want to thank the Jollies for allowing me to showcase their beautiful tumbleweed investment property here located in Fredericksburg in Lukenbach, Texas. So that way I can help them as well. I mean, hey, this is a place that you can stay in. So guys, if you're in the area, you want to make a trip, hit the link and follow us and book a nightly stay, a weekly stay in the Jolly's Tumbleweed. I'm about to do so myself, if I say so. So guys, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. And also, hey, if it's Tuesday, you know where to find me on another episode of Living Tiny with Mr. Tiny. Y'all have a great day.